Hi, this is Carsten from VOR Tracker. In this video, I want to show you how VOR Tracker can be used to practice interceptions. So, I found this example of a QDM interception where the actual QDM is 210, the required QDM 260, and the actual heading 060 degrees. As the difference between required and actual QDM is more than 30, but less than 70 degrees, the 90 followed by 45 degrees interception method is used. I'm now using create own mission, select interception and enter the 260 degrees. It is an inbound interception. So I start the mission and adjust the aircraft in the map mode move it to a 210 QDM and now tap the aircraft symbol to adjust the heading to 060 degrees. It is an inbound interception with the actual QDM smaller than the required QDM so the 90 degrees are going to be subtracted from 260 which happens to be 170 degrees. All the turns are standard rate, so at a speed of 120 knots, that means 19 degrees of bank, so we need to roll out roughly 10 degrees before the desired heading. Of course it is 170 degrees as a track we need, but as you can see the wind in this example is calm. The next track we need is 260 minus 45, which is 215. As soon as the difference between the required and the actual QDM reaches 20, which in our example is 240, which is now, we start to turn towards the 45 degrees interception track. For me, the easiest way to remember which direction to turn to is push the head for an inbound interception or pull the tail for an outbound interception. We are now pushing the head towards 260 degrees, always staying on the other side of the head of the needle. And all going well, the last track to be flown should be 260 degrees. You should now be able to notice the dip error, which is at its maximum turning inbound to the station. It is set to a maximum of 10 degrees in the settings menu and now rolling wings level, it's gone again. 